Victor Oganyinka you must have heard of the news from Sudan on the exit of President Omar al-Bashir after 30 years of dictatorship. Call it resignation, sack, ouster, ejection, military evasion. What is beyond doubt is that Sudanese would sleep and wake for the first in about three decades to catch up with the reality of the exit of their love to hate ruler. If there's something Sudanese have done in unity more than sports, it is their march against al-Bashir as it had been consistent and finally, they all have a victory to claim. And yes, to show their ecstasy, Sudanese literally shut down the streets in jubilation and both young and old, men and women all partook in the victory march and chant. And the beat goes on. Also read, Pius Atta's on me. The human oxymoron politicians must learn from a little girl displays the Sudan flag from the top of a vehicle. Photo, AFP slash Getty image all the way to the top, demonstrators take it up high and oust the flag near the defense ministry in Khartoum. Photo, Reuters we did it for peace. Sudanese women were in the forefront of the protest before al-Bashir's exit. Photo, Reuters crowds gather after Sudan's defense minister and army general, Ahmed Awad Ibn Auf, announces that President Omar al-Bashir has been detained and that a military council will run the country. Photo, Reuters all we want is freedom, peace and justice. And the regime protesters display banner. Photo, AFP slash Getty image more women show their happiness in front of army headquarters in Khartoum photo. STR slash EPA billboard wasn't spared all for demonstration. Photo, Reuters and some others took it really personal. Sudanese protesters taking down images of Omar al-Bashir in Khartoum. Hashtag SudanPic.Twitter.com slash Uigro Zero Mogul. Ismail Kush Kush, at a Kush Kush, April 11, 2019 Bloomberg thinks it's a warning to somebody else a currency crisis has triggered the downfall of Sudan's Omar al-Bashir, like it did for Zimbabwe's Robert Mugabe. There may be lessons for Venezuela's Nicolas Maduro https colon slash slash t dot co slash 9 px 3 f gazai, Bloomberg, at business, April 11, 2019 yes, Sudan. But wait, what is Museveni doing? I almost threw up. Yo Ari Museveni needs to go. Vomiting face. Hashtag SudanPic.Twitter.com slash LataaPig, Victor Mocare, at Victor Mocare, April 11, 2019 Everything has an end, but really, whose end is next? All dictators must always remember that they can fool people so many times but they cannot fool all the people all the time. When hashtag people power is bringing down despotic field marshals, then despotic generals should be put on notice. Power to you, people of Sudan. Pick.twitter.com slash Tujsivulkpa, Bobby Wine, at H.E. Bobby Wien. April 11, 2019 and more jubilation Sudan's Omar al-Bashir ousted by military and placed under arrest https colon slash slash t dot co slash x xi 5 e 0 kb one ypic dot twitter dot com slash b one bpp 7 wbm Reuters top news at Reuters April 11, 2019 meanwhile more fights and protests ahead massive sit-ins are sweeping the country this footage is taken a while ago in city of al Ghadarif, 410 kilometers from Khartoum. Angry protesters are chanting, We will not replace a Koaz by another Koaz is a derogatory name of an Islamist in Sudan. Hashtag Sudan Uprising pic.twitter.com slash